Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Of course, as always, glad you are here. So we're going to cover Drip today. We're going to give a little weekend update. I want to give some information and just share, just get back to saying, where are we going from here? Where's Drip going from here? Just giving information, just sharing facts giving you some stats for you to use and help you in your decision making just trying to share the information and give you things you're not getting anywhere else okay but of course number one first before we do i want to thank each and every one of you thank you all the subscribers if you're new here welcome if you've been before welcome back and if you haven't done so yet i don't know why but definitely hit that subscribe button hit the like button and leave me a comment because yes i do get back to every single person i want to chat with you i want to you know get information talk to you, see how I can help, um, answer any questions. And of course, appreciate everyone here. Um, and you can, of course, check out my connect page, ways you could join with a membership with YouTube, join the Telegram group. Definitely would love to chat with you there. And, you know, everyone's welcome. Also, I highly recommend, you don't have to do it through here, but definitely protect your assets. Get yourself a cold wallet, whether it's a ledger, whether it's a treasure. Don't use my my link. Use someone else's. Doesn't matter. I think it's really important. Patreon service and, of course, some of the other projects that I am in there. And you can now join here on YouTube and be um, a way to show support and membership because I am trying to get away from only using ways through different projects of joining a team and doing that. So, I mean, you can join for as little as 10 cents a day just to support the channel. Got some other levels here. Definitely made a great video that I just made and gave some great information with this group here. So lots of great ways to support. Lots of great things there. Appreciate you all. Again, like, subscribe, Telegram, everything. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay. So Drip is sitting here just under $8. I had mentioned that late last night in the group that I thought was going to be losing the $8 range. And the question here is, where do we go from here? And that's a really big question because right now, the way I see it is, okay, Forex has done a few things. Um, I'm going to show real quick here. Let me go to Telegram. He had made this post here showing some stuff about Scratchy and that kind of stuff in the pitch deck. You know, he's, he's doing some stuff there. He's showing how basically he said, even with all the gatekeepers and the refusal to pull our stats correctly, Drip remains supreme to this day. Um, I'm not sure if he's referring to CZ or referring to Binance or that red alarm, it may be, but it is showing here, of course, that, you know, top 10 dApps on being by user activity in the last 30 days. So Drip, yes, has had the most user activity next to PancakeSwap on Binance in the last couple of days. So there's a lot of people out there. There are a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people shilling it, a lot of people sharing that information. Um, and he's talking about, you know, utilizing the next, you know, five or six use, use cases coming up the next few months. The question is, I think he needs to speed it up a little. I think he's been talking about it for a long time. He's definitely delayed things for a long time. He's teased the UI since March. I mean, we're now pushing September. And I think we just got to move this up a little bit to help in, in the long run. I mean, if he really wants to help Drip, and I know he does. I'm not saying he doesn't. My point is you've got to speed up the process here and some of the things. And I'm going to share with that here, too. So, of course, it's 798, like I said, here on the UI. And if we go over here... We can see this is Binance. I'll check that here in a second. But we can see Drip here, you know, is dipped under as well. It's down to 792. There was a big gap there for a while, uh, but the UI did catch up. And you can see here the downward pressure that it's got. <clears throat> now, the reason why I put this here is I have been saying I was seeing a pullback coming. Bitcoin now, you can see on the right hand here, it broke, it's under 20,000. ETH is under 1,500. Um, and BNB is at 276.80 right now. So I'm pulling this up here because I was talking about and was sharing that from right here that this is a point to take some profits. I saw some downward pressure. I had been saying around Labor Day, there's going to be some downward pressure coming from the markets again, that the bear market rally um, was a little bit overbought, just like the market right before that was oversold. And there's going to be another downward leg. I've been saying that. And we're having that. So I think this does have a play a part in the downward pressure. Um, because of the fact that Drip is tied with BNB. Yes, it has a, a sword and shield and is BUSD liquidity, et cetera, as well. But the point is that it's there. Now, this is interesting. This is a little red X, a little red cross, whatever you want to call it here. What this is saying is that at these levels from the cell, on the bottom part here is saying, it's starting to signal maybe to cover your cell or cover your short or, 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 or cover if you're looking to play the downside. Same thing happened down here before move back up. I'm not sure if we're going to see more or not. This is not always 100% accurate. It's just giving a warning saying, hey, if you were selling up here when we told you to sell like this, maybe it's a good time to cover that here. That's just their recommendation. So we'll see how that plays out. 
Um, and again, with some of the main coins, I did mention it was going to put some pressure. So if we go over here now to the stats, let's go over here and check a few things. And I updated this, but let's see here. So right now, Drip in wallets is up to 857,530. Now keep in mind, Drip was supposed to have a 1 million um, total supply, right? So circling the supply, right? So we have 857,000 in wallets. That's a lot of Drip, okay? Drip in wallet in the faucet. We're almost at 35,000 with lots of different hydrates. And this is the total wallets accounts there. And I have a different stats. I'm going to show with that in a second. But let me just go over here real quick. I had refreshed this. So we take a look here. This is some of the activity of Drip. We can see who some of the biggest sellers are in the last 24 hours. Right now, again, not in Fawcett is one of the biggest sellers with about almost 6,000 Drip in the last 24 hours. few decent um, candles here of the two to 300 holders leveling off around here very little sales if you see right here these people who are very low and have very little drip they're probably just in there just hydrating that's what they're doing that's why you see very little selling these are starting to sell take a little bit here kind of interesting that's a lot of hydrating in the middle or not as much selling and then of course you have some sales again as you get this five thousand range and of course at the end range here when we have some max wallets so this wallet here was interesting i was, I was looking at it I'm like huh 1800 drip that wallet only has a small team um but the only member that it has on it it joined under the deployer wallet so this wallet joined under the deployer wallet didn't have someone else that it uses a buddy it used drip itself as a buddy so just interesting i'm not saying it means anything bad i'm just saying that it's just interesting and they dumped about 1800 drip recently um and again going down here um to the vault you know the vault is very important so if you look here and i'm going to highlight the vault um, and as of right now, today, the 27th, let me just barely get it highlighted there. It's very sensitive. There we go. There's 92.76 drip in the vault. So the vault right now is empty. And that is why drip is minting again. And that is the concern. And that's what's putting a lot of this downward pressure, right? I mean, you had the no sell August. Um, a lot of that, you know, came inspired from different things, calling out people, or people are selling. I remember I made a video about that with Ray's wallets before. And listen, Ray right now, he's doing his thing. I, I got to give him credit. He's shilling. He's doing his thing. He's putting out videos. He's trying to get content. He's trying to get people out there to buy drip. The other shillers are out there doing their thing. They're also making content. But the, I fear is that they're just talking to the same people and the same audience. And they're already big drip fans. But where are the new people? You have to get new people. And this is one of the things I was talking about here is I think Forex has got to pump up or do something if he's really wanted to work for Drip right now. I mean, in his most recent um, AMA filibuster that he did with Mike, the investor, he was talking about the timeline and the UI is pretty far down on the timeline there of when he expects it to come out um, for Drip. With you know launching the farm, I think he must announce it next week with Ray on his channel the exact day of when it's going to be in October and all that kind of stuff. But I just think this marketing has really got to kick on. You got to do other things. If you <clears throat> excuse me, if all he's going to do is make videos and have AMAs and just keep saying the same thing, it's already proving it doesn't work anymore. It's not working. Um, and others are trying to do the same thing, but are you just talking to the same audience who are already fans? How are you going to bring more money in? Drip needs a lot more money to help it sustain and help it to go back up. So that's why I fear that right now it's going to be some downward pressure. So I want to show real quick here um, a couple of stats I've been tracking for a couple of weeks just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. All right, so this is a little something I put together. I have one for Animal Farm. I have one for Drip. And I wrote this when I started wanting to track these, as you can see, on the 12th. So it's just been about two weeks, okay? So in about two weeks, this is what we're seeing here of a difference. I wanted to just compare, and I'll show you this. So the amount of wallets have gone up in drip about 3% in two weeks. So about the 3,000 extra wallets here. How much is in the faucet? People have compounded um, over 4 million more drip has compounded in a faucet. So again, it's ballooning, it's bloating. This is why if you're going to really help drip, that UI and all this extra marketing has got to pump in now. It's got to pump in now. There's no more waiting, no more delays. If this is going to happen, this is what's going to do to help the ecosystem. It's got to come now. Um, so it's gone up 12.76%. The amount of drip in wallets has gone up by almost 17%. This is how much is in drip in wallets right now. This was in the vault liquidity at the time I took that capture and even went up to 139,000. Right now, the, the vault is back empty, which is why it's minting again. You can see how much this went down in just two weeks. Uh, the price from 
Drip's UI was 1033. We're down to 803. So it's minus 22% drop since then the last two weeks. And on pancake swap, down about 15% in the last two weeks. Now, this here is this is what how much was totally minted um from two days ago. Okay. So two days ago, well, maybe more than two days ago. I'm sorry. Let me let me check the exact date. Give me a second. I apologize. I was wrong four days ago. So four days ago, when I did that live stream on Tuesday, I was forgetting what day of the week I'm in. And when I did that, um, this is what how much had been totally minted and what the contract was saying. This is what it's saying now. So there's been 92,000 more drip that's been minted since then. And this is how much it's gone up just from these two numbers. So it's gone up 6% in four days. Um, so that's basically minting more than the 1% a day that it's paying out right now. So it's minting above. It hasn't hit the 2% level. And this is how much is minted if you go off of the 1 million from the original contract of 9.25%. That's why I say these kind of things. So if you go back, you will see here the number. I'm going to refresh it real quick. Let me see if it's changed. Nope, it's still the same. So again, I don't want to make this too long. I'm just trying to give you factual information. Just want to give you some stats to help you. Right now, it's sitting at 796. It was a little bit lower. Then it went up to like 803. So it's playing around the 8% price right now. My personal opinion is if this continues, I think the price is going to go back and probably could test that under 5 or $5 level again. So again, what's going to happen is it needs new money. So the ones making the videos and shilling are just talking to the same audience. I don't see the new money coming in. Maybe those people already invested all they can invest in. I, what's going to happen in September? Are people in no-sell August going to start selling again and saying, the hell with it, I got to sell because I want to make some money or I want to claim for whatever my life is? How long is that going to continue? So again, it just needs a lot more influx of cash and needs more funds and needs more revenue to really help it in the short term. That's why I believe it's going to keep pushing down unless that turns around. Let's see what happens with Forex with his um, possible upcoming filibuster with um, Ray. Let's see what they announced there. Let's see what they talk about. You know, I was surprised that we really didn't get a bump from that one with Mike, not in the pigs or drip. So I don't know what's going to happen from here, folks. I'm just trying to share with you information. I hope you found this information useful. I hope this helps you in what you're planning to do upcoming here going into September. we got Labor Day coming up. I do think there's going to be some market pressures. I think it's going to be a lot more market pressure next week. You already see um, the crypto um, risk on assets already selling off. Usually that means big money is selling that off, which also means it's going to carry over to the other markets. So I'm not sure exactly how it's going to play out, but I do see more downward pressure in the near term. That is my opinion. That is what I'm feeling. So again, I hope you found value here. Please do me a favor. Leave me a comment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. You could join for only as little as 10 cents a day by joining here in the button. Love to chat with all of you. Join the Telegram group. Again, hope you all have a great day. Appreciate every single one of you. And of course, here is to your success.